Now let's tackle the concept of trust relationships. On the 70-640 exam, you can expect to see a number of questions regarding trust relationships. Let's start off with a simple definition. A trust is generally between two domains. And a trust is created when one domain needs to cross that boundary into another domain's space to get a resource. Let me just draw this out. If we've got one Active Directory domain here and another Active Directory domain here and users in one domain need to access resources in another or vice versa. Keep in mind that these domains, right, are security fences. We talked about that in a different video. So I've got to create a gate in the fence for users in this domain to be able to access things in this domain. So that's what we're talking about with trusts. Now there are five types of trusts in Active Directory in the Server 2008 environment. The first one that you'll deal with most, and you'll deal with it without even realizing you're dealing with it, is an automatic trust. Anytime we set up multiple domains in the same forest, automatic trusts are created between those. And we'll talk more about that automatic trust in a minute. Let's just talk about the different kinds right now. So the first one's automatic. Then there are shortcut trusts, which we'll talk about, external trusts, realm trusts, and then forest trusts. So let's dig into each one of those just a little bit. Now, first of all, the automatic trusts that get created as we add more domains into our Active Directory structure, into our trees and forests, these have automatic transitive two-way trust. Now, what do I mean by transitive and two-way? Well, let's say that we have domain A, and then we have domain B, and so we say that A and B have a trust relationship. A trusts B, and then there's another domain that is C, and B trusts C. Now, since these trusts are all transitive, it means that then, by default, A also trusts C. So if A is trying to work in C, or if C is trying to work in A, we don't have to manually, necessarily, explicitly set up a trust between A and C. It's already there as just a point that these two trusts are transitive, which means, you know, if you can find a path here and everybody trusts everybody okay, and these trusts are also two-way. And really, I could have put, you know, double heads on these arrows, right? Because these are two-way trusts. A trusts B and B trusts A, B trusts C and C trusts B. So the automatic trusts are always transitive and two-way. Now the manual trusts that we can set up are configurable. We can make them to be non-transitive or we can make them one or two-way, whichever we'd like to have them. Now, when would we set up our own trusts and why would we do that? Well, first of all, let me reiterate, all of our forest domains automatically trust each other. Now a shortcut trust, this is where we may have multiple domains. Let me draw this out real quickly. So I've got multiple domains. That's a, that's an ugly triangle, isn't it? And here's some more, okay? And we've got this tree here. Then we've got some more domains over here in the other part of the tree. And we're trying to get from this domain to this one. Well, normally I've got trust relationships set up between these things like this. I would have to go through this trust and then through this trust and then through this trust and then down through this trust to get to the resources here. But if I create a shortcut trust between these domains, then the traffic and the tickets that are granted and so forth, which we'll talk about later, can just flow back and forth directly. So it's a shortcut, and it makes it a lot faster than to have to traverse across all these trusts to get to the other domain. Because these are all transitive, and so it can run through them. But instead of making it run all the way around the neighborhood, let's just set up a direct one-way route. That's what a shortcut trust is used for. External trust is if we have domains in different forests and these forests aren't connected in any way but we need to connect two of the domains we can set an external trust. A realm trust is between other non-Microsoft systems that are running Kerberos. You'll see some Unix things out there and some other stuff. But if you've got a Microsoft Active Directory system trying to touch or trade information and authentication aspects with somebody who's a non-Microsoft but are running Kerberos you can do a realm trust. And then the last one, the forest trust, and this is usually what we set up between two root domains of separate forests. 
Good example, I've got a company that makes ball bearings, and we buy a company that ships bananas. There's a reference to an old far side joke there, but never mind. Two totally separate companies, but they both have active directory, and they both have their own forest. We can connect these at the root domain and then set up trust relationships between them. So that's the forest trust. So that's a real quick run through on active directory trust relationships. Make sure this makes sense to you, and you might want to read up on this just a little bit on the Microsoft side or grab you some third party documentation. But just make sure that you understand the trust relationships between domains and how you can use them. Now, elsewhere in this tutorial, there is a video called Trust Ed. And before you go take this exam, watch that video. It's maybe some of the most useful information I'll put in this whole course. Look for me in the Trust Ed video, but for now, that's a good overview of trust relationships in Active Directory.